Who was Katie, and why was she replaced by Penny after an unsuccessful pilot of TBBT? How has Sheldon's character changed, and who's Gilda? Hi, my name's Dylan, and today I'll be telling you about how the initial pilot of our favorite show was different from the one we actually saw. Penny didn't exist. Can you imagine this gang without cheerful Penny? It turns out it's not that difficult if you watch the pilot of TBBT. Although our favorite blonde appeared a bit later, you can still see her prototype in the pilot. The story of a girl named Katie had a similar start, a breakup with her boyfriend. Katie, who got dumped by her married boyfriend, was sitting on the road all sad when Sheldon and Leonard found her. Chuck Lorre's initial idea was to make this character quite dark and sassy, but the network wasn't keen on that idea. Of course, a girl who has an affair with a married man doesn't quite fit into a family-oriented channel like CBS. In the first pilot, the character of Penny, originally named Katie, was not as appealing as that proverbial girl next door. Warner Brothers president and chief content officer Peter Roth told TV Insider ahead of the final episode. The test audience didn't quite like the character either, and they viewed her rather negatively. As a result, Katie's character was rewritten into the softer and cuter Penny, who won over both the producers and the audience. We still can't get over the thought of having Dark Penny in the show. Would you like to see this version of TBBT? Kaylee Cuoco appeared later. Actually, it wasn't just Penny who wasn't present in the pilot, Kaylee Cuoco wasn't in it either. But that doesn't mean she didn't want to land the role of Katie. She auditioned, but Amanda Walsh won the role. Kaylee explained to TV Insider, I didn't get the role of Katie the first time around. I was too young, which I love saying because I don't get to say that I'm too young anymore. A year later, she heard that there was a casting call for TBBT again, came to the audition, and landed the role. It wasn't just the showrunners who liked Kaylee, but also Nina Tassler, the then president of CBS Entertainment. We aren't surprised by that. Horny Sheldon Sheldon Cooper has always found it difficult to get along with people he didn't know well, especially women. His psychological problems with physical interaction and how he worked on them for Amy became the most dramatic moments of the show. And don't even get us started on the thousands of jokes this scene with Sheldon has given us. This is an important quality of his character, and he would be totally different without it. Can you imagine if Sheldon started having far from platonic feelings for a woman right after meeting her? And that's what he was like in the show's pilot when he met Katie. And when she asks the guys to let her stay for a bit as she doesn't have a place to live, Sheldon's only too happy to do so. Oh, how would the Sheldon we know and love have felt about that? Actually, in this dark universe, Sheldon's personality is somewhat similar to Howard's, and that makes it all a bit uncomfortable. Some of his jokes totally aren't meant for children. Katie's Real Estate Issue Admit it. It surprised you when we said Katie asked the guys if she could stay with them, right? In the pilot, the girl was practically homeless, and she had no other choice but to stay with Leonard and Sheldon. At the same time, the guys offered her a place only because she was attractive. Penny, on the other hand, visited them because she enjoyed spending time with them, even though she often didn't understand their nerdy conversations, not because she didn't have a place to live. The difference between Katie and Penny is huge, and frankly speaking, we're glad it was Penny who became a part of the guys' lives. Where are Raj and Howard? Not only are these two an important part of the gang, but also they are those characters who shadow the leading ones. There was supposed to be a female character, Gilda, among these two. She was supposed to be the complete opposite of Katie, a scientist who had problems with guys. However, as soon as Katie was removed from the show, there was no need to include Gilda either. The showrunners probably decided that a group of scientists without a woman would make a greater contrast with Penny, and so they added Raj and Howard to the plot. Back at Comic-Con in 2008, Chuck Lorre admitted that everything besides Johnny Galecki and Jim Parsons was bad about the first pilot. We rewrote the thing entirely, and then we were blessed with Kaylee and Simon and Kunal. But did Gilda really leave for good? We might not have heard anything about her anymore, but she probably became the prototype of our favorite Amy. However, there's another theory that Gilda's actually an early version of Leslie. Would you watch a TBBT version like this? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to our channel.